Hello. All right. First of all, thanks, Jeff, for the introduction. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I would like also to thank, th thank the whole team who's been uh, organizing this event. Uh, we're really honored to be here. <coughs> so, Work Architecture Company. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, the Dyne von Furstenberg headquarters in New York that we completed last year. This is an existing structure, um, a landmark building for which we had to keep the, the existing facade. Um, the program ranges for, from very public to very private. It is a fashion house, so you have a store, showrooms, uh, offices, and also residence. Our strategy was to create a single uh, conic um, gesture, which we call the stair de lier, uh, a mix between the stair and the chandelier, which connects uh, all the different programmatic parts, but also uh, bring the light diagonally down into the entire building. This is the stair view from the entrance. And the stair connects a series of double height spaces through. So that's the first one. This is the conference area that can be transformed for uh, private events, uh, basically on the other side of the stair. And this is the offices above. And one element is, as you arrive all the way up, we have a system of mirrors that brings the light down uh, from the sun. So it's actually two mirrors. Um, one is a heliostat that you can see. All right, all right, that's better. Um, all right, so this mirror is a heliostat that tracks the, um, the sun during the day and reflects the ray into these nine mirrors on the back that uh, brings it down to the entire stair, reflecting on these uh, 6,000 Swarovski crystals that are installed uh, as a guardrail. And also, you can see we have these third mirrors here, here that redistribute the light uh, through. Um, and if you, if you live in New York for a while, you actually realize that no one ever takes the stair. So this was really an attempt to make it as, um, you know, it's, it's a spatial event within the building and the entire organization uh, uses the stair and there is a whole social contact and uh, beautiful things happening. Um, you can see here when the sun hits, it, it's, you, you can really track down every single change of luminosity during the day. If you have a cloud passing by, the entire building kind of um, reacts to that. We also have at the top of, the, um, of this box a, uh, a series of LEDs that at night keep the luminosity into the stairwell. Um, the crystals are also used structurally. They are uh, keeping this cable caged tight for the, for the guardrail through the building. That's the view from the top all the way down to the entrance. Um, on top of the existing building, we brought a glass box which enclosed uh, some private offices. And as a manifestation of the interior gesture, uh, you have on the outside this uh, glass faceted penthouse at the top, which is a residence, and becomes really the symbol for the, the neighborhood and the building, the image of the building. This beautiful views uh, with the uh, green terrace. And again, the existing facades are still there, but we really redid all the floors and everything inside, so there is nothing left from, from the original building except the facade. 
here you can see the cut through at night also. This is in the, in the meatpacking district in, in, in New York, which is an old uh, uh, meat distribution center and is now being turned into a um, more hip um, center for fashion and clubs and bar and so on. The Kew Gardens Hill Library in Queens, New York. Uh, this is a project of an extension of a library. It's only 300 square meters. And the goal was to create a new image for this library uh, that the neighborhood can be proud of. The existing building is from 1966. Um, and there is an entire upgrade from all this, the system to make it more uh, energy efficient, but also uh, extending the program. We concentrated our approach on this uh, outside band here. And this diagram shows the, the existing program at the top and the new program at the bottom that was given to us. So every single existing part is basically extended. So the concept is to to give everyone a little piece of the pie, basically. That's how we explained it to the city, and they really love, love this idea, is that everybody who uses this building on a daily basis is gonna have a new uh, room for him. So that is, uh, for example, the teen area in yellow, the adult area, uh, which are reading rooms, the staff, and also the children area. They are all extended into this ribbon of uh, open rooms on the periphery. and separated uh, by a uh, bookshelf that are also a structure for the new roof. On the side we had an existing little garden, like a little ribbon on the back side and on the top here on the right you can see and we try to continue that on the roof with this band folding and reuse that and maximize the amount of green uh, space we have. It's so rare in this area in New York to actually have some leftover green space as everything has been urbanized. Um, so we, we brought that back into the project somehow with the different plans that will go on the roof. Um, <coughs> so the, the library is really a pulling up all the, of this band around it to create a new image, a new public civic uh, importance for this building that it was lacking before. So you see at the corner that's the top high that really broadcasts the activity um, of the inside to the outside. Um, then it slopes down on the left side uh, to into the reading room and also the teens room where they can do their own little thing here at the corner. On the other side, <coughs> um, it slopes down touching the ground where we need more privacy for offices, uh, for uh, the book drop area, and then there is a mini um, um, a mini, you know, hill again that creates an opening for the kids area, basically at the size of the kid uh, here at the corner. The entrance is also created by uh, folding a piece of the um, of the facade, you know, reminiscent of folding a page of the book. And also this uh, pulling up of this van has created a strategy for the lighting for both the new part and the old part where you have all these nuclear story windows between the existing building and the new one here at the back. So you get the south sun ba basically being reflected and distribute the light on the inside as well as this new glass facade obviously that brings all the light inside. Study model. The 